beauties and welcome back to my channel it's your girl beauty budgets here and today we will be doing a sinking funds cash stuffing video for my last paycheck in july um so i'm so excited because i actually decided to go ahead and stuff my rent as well so that i can take that out of the account and don't have to worry about us spending it um i'm actually going to put it in a separate account um where we don't use that debit card very much so that i know for sure we won't touch it and then that'll just be a little extra way to make sure we stay in budget so today we are stuffing three thousand two hundred and fourteen dollars oh y'all almost forgot my spill <gasps> go ahead and do y'all little job do your little job like comment and subscribe and if you like what you hear hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i will be posting my next video now do it now do your little job okay so let's get right into this video so yes this this y'all see that oh y'all know how i feel about my money I did not wash it. I just can't bring myself to do it. That's a lot of work. <laughs> but I will not be sniffing it or nothing like that. But look at that. So let's go ahead and dispense this out. Um, so yeah, because we are stuffing rent, we got a lot of hundreds this time. But considering the rest of this is not rent money, we still got a good amount. Um, to stuff so I'm excited we're ending the month strong we are going on a trip in August um, it's a road trip so we won't be spending as much that way but the um, cabin that the family decided to rent uh, we will be spending a lot on that so that's why a bulk of this money will be going to vacay as well travel money so that's okay because it's gonna be fun and we are like that family that is always like nah we ain't gonna go on a trip this time um you know not this time not this time so this time we decided we was not gonna be that family and we <laughs> are gonna go as although it's a lot of money we're gonna we're gonna do it and we're gonna enjoy so let's empty out the cash envelopes first course lately my husband ain't been having nothing left in his um and then i have a little bit left in spending money so that's exciting so we have seven eight dollars here what else we got dollar divas i did not spend well technically i did i bought a case they had a phone case for it was for free and then i ended up having to pay like 50 cents or something so i'm like no point in putting 50 cents in the bank for that so we do have this left over nothing there we keep his for his haircut keep this for the kids birthday stays so yeah that's it and leftover money so let's get right into go to my budget sheet so that we can stuff this money. So cash um oh I guess bills. I'm gonna keep my bills in my purple thing because eventually that's we're just gonna take that back to the bank. So um I did not take out subscriptions because that's automatically gonna come out of my main checking account. And then I did not take out money for investments because um, that's automatically going to come out of my main checking account as well. So I will just be stuffing $1,600 for rent. And technically, I'm not stuffing it. I'm just going to hold it in my bank envelope until it's time to pay rent in like a week or two. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1600 say bye bye money bye bye so yes yeah, so i'm gonna put this right back in here for now and transfer it to another banking account checking account so okay 
So his spending will go first and he is getting 25. I did not fix his envelopes yet. And actually I'm going to order some more, of uh, order some of these. Um, I just haven't got around to do it because it's just gonna take so long and I want stuff to take long. I might just order a laminator instead so that I can make my own, but uh, that's the, the goal. And then 80 is going into gas, so 20, 20, 40, 60, 80. Hopefully this will last us a bit up it by another five dollars because we've been needing more. Eating out is getting a hundred, and I did that in all twenties this time. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Miscellaneous is getting 10, and that'll be in fives. And do y'all see these fives? Let me see. These fives is brand new, crispy crackety, so it's gonna be hard getting these out. But Ten dollars. So his cash envelopes are all set. I will give this to him so he can put it in his wallet. For mine so spending for me her spending will be getting 25 and I think I'm a um, create another envelope where I can set aside some money of this each month so that I can purchase a big item but if I have it all just sitting in my wallet I'm gonna spend it so I didn't want to take out extra money for myself, but just utilize the money that I'm already putting aside, if that makes sense. Car maintenance will get $10. Alrighty. Dollar Divas will get $10. Hopefully, if I'm short of five, I'll know. I can't wait to get my nails done, too. Um, investments, I said, is in the bank still, so we're not going to worry about that. And then Brody is getting $10. Am I doing a 10 for him? Maybe not. Let's do some more fives. I know I had got a lot of fives this time. And so Brody does have some money because it's almost time for him to get a haircut. So his haircuts are $25. So we should have enough now. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So that is good. So he'll probably get that next week. And then clothing, we'll be getting $40. And that's in 10s, 10, 20, 30. 40, and we have used some of this so far to buy some back to school clothes. And so now in clothing we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars. B-Day coming up, my B-Day coming up. Um, <laughs> and we'd be putting $50 in there, so now it's 150. What I'm actually gonna end up doing is adding this to travel money, um, because we're gonna need all of it. And we are traveling on my birthday weekend, so it all ties together. And then uh, fun money, and we'll skip that one for now, because we'll have to go back. Well, let's do it while I'm over here, I think. Fun money is getting $12, yes. So $12 for fun money. It just made more sense to put fun money in the cash envelopes, like to carry around. And 
we finally used that Starbucks gift card we had. <laughs> Alrighty, and last but not least, food. So that is good for groceries. And that will be getting $200. envelopes now let's go to sinking funds okay giveaway so we're doing twelve dollars in giveaway and i know we got something in there now just 10 yeah starting to build up for when i hit 500 subscribers so in giveaway, we have $22, oops, travel money will be getting $450, so one, two, three, four. 50 and in travel money we should have 200 I believe Where my 50 go okay. let me sit this leftover money to the other, another side so I don't get it mixed up so in travel money we have 100, 200, 300, 400 500, 650 650 Christmas, we are all up to date with what we're supposed to stuff, but we are still just gonna add the $12 in to it just to stuff something in it. That way you just meet your goal faster if you just stuff every time you get paid. That's what I'm gonna try to start doing. So I will be adding $12. And in Christmas, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 460, 470, 480, 481, 482. My goal for Christmas is 1500 and 482. Okay, $12 for annual fees. dollars into giving and I did give 10 to someone already so now we have 10 left so this is $22 isn't given now I might transfer this over to my cash envelopes so that when I'm out and about on the street we have it available did fund money already and that just has the 12. Okay, church is going to get 340.
next is my home binder. So if I can get that. Alrighty, so these will all be getting $12 as well. Every little bit counts and it all adds up, so in home we will be putting 12. So that is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 3,052 dollars in down payment money. We are doing this slowly because we don't think we will be buying a house for another year or two. I decided I'm going to start stuffing these slowly as well instead of not putting anything. So $12. And they are current. This one is currently empty. So $12 is what it's in there. And this one is empty as well. Home repairs. So this is whenever we purchase a home and have to do some repairs. So we will be red tea for home whenever that time comes. Uh -oh. So that is all set. So let's put 12, 12. And then lastly, we will be doing emergency funds my emergency funds is to be three months ahead so whenever this reaches about 10,000 that's when we'll stop um, that'll be three months worth of expenses for us so we are adding $12 almost didn't add that Emergency funds, we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 50, 100, 20, 30, 31, 32. So, 7,132 dollars is in emergency funds. I have to fix my writing later. Jamira will be getting only 25 this time. So 551. Um, and like I said, my stepson will be getting his regular 100 because we don't have time to be playing around and not stuffing his full amount. He has to go to college soon, so we can't take no breaks on his. Um, so we have 500 in the bank, 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 210. So he has $710. Five. And 
um, hers is going to be a little bit higher than Jamira's because whenever they buy stuff now, like if they buy a game on the on their phones or on their tablets, they give us the money for it um, because we have to use our cards to purchase it. And I decided that I'll just stuff that money and save it instead of just keeping it and spending it on something I didn't need. So this way they're saving without them even knowing it. <laughs> So she already gave me like $27, $30 in games already for the past week. So she's going to be a little bit higher. So she has $61.62, so $562 she finally has because I cannot get them to stuff money extra any other way. Like, they will not save if they get some money from somebody. So, <laughs> this way, um, I'm saving for them. Alrighty, and then I said the leftover money that I have, which was $6, will be going to my ones and five dollar savings challenge and then i'll also add in these so let's get the ones so we will be putting four dollars into our one dollar savings challenge and i think when i do my bill exchange video i will go ahead and replace the five dollar bills for ones just so it's truly the one dollar savings challenge <laughs> And then the fives, we have two ten dollars. So we, we're putting a lot in this challenge this month. And I had already counted this like last the beginning of last month. Um, so I will not be counting to the end of the year. And then tens, we finally got a ten left over. Alrighty. So we are all set. Everything is stuffed and done. So we're good. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys as always for watching. Hopefully you tune in on Tuesday. I will be doing a bill exchange video and a cash swapping video. And then on Thursday, I will be doing my update for July to see how much I saved in the month of July. Alrighty, so... Until next time, peace. Bye.